Hi all. Uh, hope you are all doing good. So, welcome you again for this marketing management class. So far, we have completed two different units. Okay, uh, a short recap on two different units. In the first unit, we discussed about all the fundamentals of marketing. We talked about concepts of marketing. We talked about how the marketing is done. We talked about what are this difference between marketing and marketing management. And uh, we discussed about marketing environment. So this comprises unit one. In unit two, we discussed a lot of things. Uh, starting from buying decision, uh, we saw about buying model. In buying model, we saw about two different models that is buying generic model and the five stage model. And we also discussed about segmentation. Okay, so these are the topics which we covered in unit two. And there is a small portion which I left out in unit two. Uh, that I will be uploading it in Moodle, okay, in the form of uh, audio note with a text. What are the texts it should be needed? So you can just listen and learn. So I'm giving you various flavors, and uh, I think uh, from from this unit onwards, we will have more activity and uh, more content creations for you. So hope everyone cooperates with me and we will learn together okay as we were doing for the past two months okay so today we are going to start unit three uh, the unit three is a very very important topic yes in every unit we we have to say this word but this is very very important because uh, due to the situation of today's world and uh, the few examples i have quoted in the content the topic will be very very useful and uh, hope it will help your future too so on the perspective only i have created this uh, whole unit content so taking out from books and referring different resources i have created this and this content will be available as it is available previously in moodle so this content also also will be available in moodle and you can access it uh, after the end of the session you have to access Moodle uh, by 1.30 or uh, 2 o'clock. I'll be enabling a, a small assessment in the Moodle as a part of your assignment on this unit, OK? So in this unit, each and every every session, we will have one quiz. Actually, we were doing it with the block survey. And now it will be placed in Moodle, OK? So I'll be doing that too. Uh, we will be doing along with you. OK, so what are the things that we are going to learn in this unit three is we are going to learn this five important topics. OK, uh, this is very, very important. These five important topics we will be discussing in this unit. So first topic is sales forecasting. We will learn what is sales forecasting, why it is done, and all those things we'll be learning in sales forecasting. And then we will be discussing about various methods, how this various methods being used in sales forecasting. So I put it as yes for a short term, so sales forecasting. And then we learn about product. What is product? We're discussing about marketing. And uh, we'll be learning about what is product, or how to distinguish between different products. And we'll be discussing about new product development. Okay, um, That is a very interesting topic we can learn i have i will be adding some interesting contents and uh, some few examples so that is very very important topic and then finally product life cycle an exam point of view maybe your interview point of view this is uh, another important topic that we all should learn so we'll get into the lesson and uh, we'll start with sales forecasting okay so before we discuss about sales forecasting, we should know what is sales, right? What is sales? You can use chat box or you can unmute and talk. What is sales? What do you mean by sales? What do you mean by sales?
What do you mean by sales? Anybody? Okay, selling the product as honest as you are selling the product is sales. Okay. Any any other uh, any other term to sales means to sell a product. Yes. Yes. Okay. We sell something. Okay. Good. Okay. What is sales? I am not getting the, the exact term which I was looking for. We will we will we will we'll go little underneath. Okay. We will see little deeper point. What is sales? How a person will get the product or how a person will sell the product? Any any guess? We were discussing that term uh, previous in two different units. OK, so sales is as honest and surely told. It is in a simple layman perspective, we can put it as a selling a product, selling a, a specified product. OK, in marketing term, how uh, pro, uh, our sales can be defined as convincing a customer to buy the product. OK, it is not just you go and sell. You convince them, right? When you go out for shopping, how many of you experience when you walk in some marketplace, some people will come and tell, yes, attract, attracting the product. Mm, good, Dinesh, nice, good try. Ah, yes, we can we can take it that point also. See, we'll come back to the example. Okay. Uh, have you ever experienced when you walk in the market street or in a very in the shopping places? Some people will come and tell it. There'll be people, right? They'll be coming and convincing you. A sales is nothing but convincing a customer to buy a product. Okay. You have to make them take a decision. See, this is a term. We have to use it whenever the question is arised. See, when you go to interview, if you sell selling the product, it is some even the class 12 class student can tell. What is my maturity level? We can use this kind of terminologies, which is very, very important. Okay, A sales is nothing but convincing a simple customer to buy your product. Even though he has different varieties of products, different options to buy, if you make him to take a decision to buy your product, that will be known as sales. Okay, That is a simple term. Okay. Uh, if you can put it as selling the product, okay, fine. We'll put it in a, a little away from the topic. We just learned this topic. You convince a customer to buy a product or to make him a, take a decision to buy your product. Not any product, your own product. Why it is important? Because if you make him to buy a product, your sales number is goes high, your profit also goes high. So. That is a very, very important. We should, if someone asks you, what is sales? What you will be telling? What is sales? What is sales? What is sales? Someone can unmute and talk, man. So that will be good, little good. Okay, what is sales? Okay, well, sales is nothing but convincing a people to buy your product. Okay, so please, please uh, respond. Okay, uh, that will be good for me. So that will motivate me to teach you good. So. We'll come back to sales forecasting. What do you mean by sales forecasting? What do you mean by sales forecasting? Sales forecasting is nothing but nothing but prediction. Okay, prediction of sales. Today I sold this much. Tomorrow I will be selling this much. This is what known to be sales forecasting. Okay, this is very 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 important. 
sales forecasting is very essential in an organization it, it it cannot be omitted from any organization even if you take an uh, example of our college we need some sales what is that sales what what is the selling we do here in the college what is the selling we do here in the college any any idea we also do some sales any any guesses nobody admissions okay admissions admissions in our college is oh, yes as honest told yes education yes admission is kind of in a sales any organization which belongs to education sector does okay they will predict for this year's how many of you in the bb department in current third year how many of you Sixty-four, I guess. Okay. So, sixty-four of you in current uh, in second year, there may be fifty-five or uh, sixty. Maybe we'll we'll take a rough calculation. Fifty-six. We'll put it as fifty-six. Okay. Then uh, administ administration of the college will take a decision. See, previously we got sixty-four. Now this year we got only fifty-six. We gone. nearly eight admissions less so what they will do they will forecast okay what i have to do to increase the numbers for example now we got 75 okay 75 or 76 okay we'll take a little brief example okay now the organization will put a target that in 2020 i should get admission for bba 75 seats so predicting the future of the sales is known as sales forecasting irrespective of any organization it has to be done maybe the product may be differing maybe the service may be differing but the forecasting remains the same because there are so many benefits along with sales forecasting okay i will just you just go through you on the particular topic before that we will see some examples okay so there are few examples the real time examples i'm going to tell you okay so how many of you know toyota toyota everybody knows toyota toyota company car company yes okay which car of toyota is very famous which car of the toyota is very famous which car of the toyota famous any idea okay so toyota is the one of the leading car manufacturer anybody know which country the toyota belongs to they know any country that uh, which country owns the toyota any any area no nobody is asking okay okay toyota is a company which comes from japan it is a japanese made and it is one of the leading car manufacturer okay they own very good market share in india apart from maruti maruti suzuki uh, maruti is a indian brand apart from maruti suzuki toyota is having a very good market position in india okay so this is the recent they forecast okay they expect the sales around uh, 10 million vehicles all over the world by 2020 so that will make them to closer to 
Volkswagen, okay? Uh, Volkswagen, Volkswagen, I know, majority of you know. So they'll, they feel that by end of 2020, they'll be closer to Volkswagen, who is the number one automaker. So they, they belong the, they belong a very good sales number or a Volkswagen. So Toyota is predicting that by end of 2020, they will be reaching to Volkswagen. Okay. So that is the one prediction. It is available, very current information. There is a resource available. You can check it the URL, okay, which I put it in the presentation. And then another company, ICT. Okay. We were uh, <coughs> discussing about ICT during the second unit. So as per the analysts, okay, as per the analysts, ITC is expected to decrease 14% of their cigarette volumes, okay? ITC, what is the full form for ITC? Anybody knows the ITC full form? ITC full form. Any, any idea? Okay, I'll tell you. Okay, it is Empirical Tobacco Company. Okay, Empirical Tobacco Company of India. Okay, Empirical Tobacco Company of India. So previously it was called as Indian Tobacco Company and later they changed into Empirical Tobacco Company of India. It is a, one of the leading company in India. They have many products as we saw in the second unit in the segmentation. They got different units. One of the main product is cigarettes. Okay. They known for their cigarette band brands. Okay, they are telling that ITC is expected to decrease fourteen percent in cigarette volumes. Okay, due to that uh, excise duty and the lockdown lockdown period. So it is irrespective of the industry whether you take an automobile or whether you take a multi fast moving multi conglomerate company which has fmg uh, which has notebooks which has uh, hotels they they all belong to one specific important thing they will be adopting to is that is sales forecasting without their sales forecasting a huge organization will not work properly okay so we have to know this importance of sales forecasting the first importance is a systematic function is enabled. Okay, they will be functioning very systematically. They will know which product to sell, what are the products they should focus on, and what are the products they should eliminate from the market, and uh, where they need to give offer, where they need to pitch vibrantly. All these things they will know because they have forecasted. Okay, if I want to make thousand crore turnover i what much efforts i have to put that is a very 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 important question very first question so they will know how systematically a company should function that is a very very important okay second they will have a target see as we saw in the in the works in the toyota example they have said okay so 10 million vehicles to be sold so i can be the number one automaker so that is that should be done you should be setting your target very very precisely very important and delegation of work you have to split the work you cannot do all the work by you okay you should be having your own team and you should be spreading the work you should be separating the work with different people so delegation of work is possible with forecasting. And there will be some coordination and cooperation. For example, uh, if I'm appointing Honest as a project manager, okay, I'll be telling Honest how the project is going. If I ask Prasant to be the project manager of something, I will ask him, okay, Prasant, what is the, what is the way we are getting it? And we will be going to budget preparation, okay? how the budget is framed what are the things i'll be needing we cannot simply go and do so we'll be asking okay honest what much amount you should be giving to me uh, what are the requirements you should have so i'll be asking the honest so i'll be same way i'll be uh, if sherlin is uh, another uh, 
another project head i'll be asking shalin shalin can you give me your budget what are the people you, what are the resources you need so that is very very important budget preparation will be done so i will be knowing what will be my expenses and what will be my gain okay then we have got product mix in this unit we will be looking at product mix so i will not explain now we will look at it in a different chapter okay product mix different chapter we will look at the end of the this unit so there are different types of sales forecasting okay this is very very important this sales forecasting is very very important okay uh, you will be asked in a university exam it will be asked in your detail that is 10 mark or 5 mark so very 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 important so possible you take notes and uh, listen carefully okay you can learn this question by within a 10 or 15 minutes so the first type is jury of executive opinion method okay jury of executive opinion method it is simple definition is there will be the top player management right for example managers uh, ceo cfo uh, cmo or the top level management the executive level people will tell you they will give you their opinions okay okay uh, if possible uh, if we will take an example okay <laughs> i will also learn that. okay if it is axilia uh, if axilia priti is there okay axilia priti is my ceo and uh, honest is my cfo and in parase is my cmo okay and uh, i am the managing director okay i am there and uh, axilia will tell uh, sir this month uh, we sold a uh, very good uh, amount in our uh, biscuit brand okay fine i'll check it out and honest i'm coming and telling sir this time we got a very less sales in our chocolate brand and the inverse will come and tell sir we, this time we sold uh, very high in our mobile brand okay so what will be the suggestion uh, maybe i will ask kali okay kali i will ask kali maybe the cmo kali will tell sir since biscuits and mobiles are selling much we will focus more on it we will allocate more budget on marketing and the chocolate we will fine tune and we'll do see only the top level management people will take a decision on forecasting they will simply will discuss and take a note jury of execution executive opinion method okay it's the first type of sales forecasting uh, people who are in executive range executive rank they will be giving the opinion okay so this is my opinion and one person will consolidate and they will make a decision and they will be selling the product so there are merits and demerits available in this in this method so merit is it is very simple okay just five or six people sit down and they will talk and they will make a decision there is not much uh, pain is taken by the executive people and it should not be requiring any detailed information because it is simple conversation right maybe some, some simple facts so you, you did not need a very uh, detailed manner okay so the finally executives who approached it okay who told it for example in person told me that sir we can focus on more on mobile phones so he will take the responsibility or she will take the responsibility sir we will focus on mobile phones and we will go for it so she will take care because the she is executive right? she is a head of the particular department so she will take care of how to boost the product and then there are demerits as well for this particular method what is the demerits first thing there is no facts there are only no figures i simply i will tell ah, sir we will focus on mobile phone sir yeah, we, will, we will achieve 1 crore rupees in next month and next month 2 crore rupees simple where is the facts that is very very important when you do sales forecasting facts and figures are very very important okay second second demand will be there is no analysis no past case study see when we to when we take the example of toyota or uh, itc see there is a word called analyst there are people who are doing this specifically see there is a good market for analysts okay there is a career opportunity you can learn some skills if you have any anything to learn you can just ask me i will tell you what are the course you can learn and you can be analyst okay there is a much demand these days okay so analysis is very very important nowadays we are driven by data 
everywhere it is data simple to online class i am asking honors to record the rec uh, attendance two times why it is rec data i am i am tracking people who is attending my class regularly who is not attending the class regularly who is accessing the moodle at the end of the day i will i will have a clear cut idea this person has to get this mark this person should not be given this mark this person should be getting only this much say so i will be putting that forecast okay see analysis is very very important but in this method that is jury executive method there is no forecast okay and uh, it is not a general estimation okay in opinion method for example due to some situation honest to chocolate may not be selling but tomorrow it may sell high so what it should be done is area wise product wise customer wise it is not being mentioned okay it should be it should be like that it should be very general it it should be focus on any specific general idea for example take up a area is yes, do this forecast take up a product do the pros forecast take up a customer do the forecast that is very very important all these things will lack in jury of executive opinion method and we got about sales force opinion method okay sales force opinion method it's simple but sales people okay i am a salesman and uh, we we'll take a kartikeyan is my manager okay kartikeyan asking ha uh, valan how was the day man is yes, a good sir fine it went well and uh, kartikeyan will ask say okay how many clients you met sir i met around uh, 10 clients okay kartikeyan will ask okay how much you sold man sir i sold only 3 and then kartikeyan will ask why you met 10 customers and you only sold three then i will tell sir uh, i think uh, we should work on something we should be working on price uh, we should be having some more office uh, please sir so they will give it so kartikeyan will listen to the person who is who is a sales who is a sales person who is doing the sales so kartikeyan will listen to a sales person and he will be taking the decision okay so fine good okay valan okay we will give some offers and next day you will ask the review again valan well, yesterday we gave, how many today how much how many people you met sir i met 25 how many how many sales you met sir i met 24 sales i made sir what is the reason sir i told you no sir we'll decrease the price we will increase the offers if there is a sales see sales force opinion method is one of the best method followed in for sales forecasting these people know sales people will know which month will be suitable for chocolates which month is suitable for mobile phones which month is suitable for dresses okay they will know because they are communicating with the customers directly they will identify what is their need and want very specifically and yes there are merits and demerits available even in this method that is sales for opinion method what is the merit first merit practical approach see kartikeyan is asking to a sales person that is me how you made the sales any difficulties yes i will tell that sir price is high and we should give offers to the clients so please there is a practical approach right so when you have a practical approach it will give you more results even even in learning for example if you come to college if i take a uh notes the board if i discuss the topic you will get different ideas maybe in online you may get the very limited content okay even though we give you 100% content you may be getting very little see practical approach is always very good hands on is very very important and then focus see here the sales person will have more focus he will tell sir chennai is suitable for mobile phones sir elegiri is suitable for warm dresses we can sell sweaters uh, we can sell uh, we can sell hand gloves but you cannot sell those product in chennai because chennai is very hot elegiri is very cold okay uh, sorry very cold okay uh, we will we he knows the area he knows the area well and he knows the product also very well sir this product will not sell this this one sir people will not for example this month is in tamil month it is purattasi right no very people very people will omit non veg if i run a chicken chicken restaurant which has many if i running a kfc sir protasi masi masam is started okay we will reduce 
our production. Maybe instead of 100 burgers, we will go for 70 burgers. Sir. See, he knows. And also he knows the customer. For example, okay, if you go to a shop very regularly, they will know, hey, this month Valan has come. Uh, he will be preferring that uh, yellow shirt, okay? Take one yellow shirt and keep it. He knows every very detail, very every specific detail is there. And uh, whose the responsibility will be here is the salesperson because he is giving the opinion. So the directly he will be involving with the sales. So here the salesperson will take the in charge. So what are the demerits here? The demerit will be the people who does the who does the sales. Why they may be lacking some efficiency. They may not be having a uh, very good uh, talent to sell. So that will be burden for the company to generate a sales. And then second is sales people most of the time are not committed. Okay. You might have seen in some movies or you might have seen it in real time. These people will have some negligence. Okay. They will not see the responsibility. There are different factors why they are not doing them. We should, we should, we can also discuss on it. Okay. We, they will not take the responsibility very cleanly. If they take the responsibility very, very uh, beautiful, because any company, any organization, sales is the backbone. They bring the income, which, with whatever other department works, they will be only spending the money. But only these salespeople will ask for, they will bring the income to the company. Okay. All, whatever they do, they will, at the end, they will bring something to the company. See, sales is a wonderful job. Majority of you will not liking it because you have to travel, you have to go for it. But sales is the wonderful job. If you do with efficiency, with the determination, with the commitment, you will be topping the company. People will feel jealous on you. Hey, this man, see, every month he does some sales, he gets some incentives, he gets some good benefit, man, bonus, man. I know a person who started the salary with the 15,000 rupees and the 2,000 rupees for his vehicle allowance, okay, petrol allowance. And today, that guy is earning 1 lakh rupee as a salary and 50,000 rupees as his flight expenses, travel expenses, then wherever he goes to different cities, okay? All those things are covered by companies. See, that is an efficiency and determination. There are people who does it. So sales is one of the wonderful job. That's what I want to make a comment on, comment on this session. Okay, then another is, another third type is customer expectation. Customer expectation is beautiful because they will tell, Sir, this product is not suitable for me, sir. And when you go on textile showroom, maybe a shop which sells uh, shirts or dresses, they will tell, sir, the size is not fitting. If 10 people comes and tells you the size is not fitting, you should make a decision. Okay, to my shop, this particular size people are coming. Their demand is this. They will come and tell you, sir, yeah, please, uh, in an orange color mobile. So they will give you that very, very important. Okay. So customer expectation is very, very, very important. So merits and demerits of this particular is first is detailed information. The merit of customer expectation will be detailed information. Customer will give you a detailed info. Okay. That is very, very important they will give a detailed information you can take and second is this method is customer focused because they are going to buy the product right so you directly focus irrespective of executive irrespective of salesperson you go to customers very very baseline and important line what are the demerits okay today i may like today i may be liking yellow shirt but tomorrow i may not like yellow shirt see Irreliable information. If someone told me, sir, yellow shirt will be, I'll be buying today. If I not, if I bought the yellow shirt, but if I don't buy and go pink, yellow shirt is a waste, right? And expectation of customer every day changes. So need and want is changing every day. And uh, 
another one of the important is short term goal whatever the customer comes and tell you is short term goal see answer is in the first previous point expectation will change so it will not for longer time but very very shorter time and then we got statistical method statistical method is nothing but tools will be used some analytical softwares will be used to predict the sales it's simple that there are different tools are there different uh, softwares are available to do this analytical work okay so if anyone interested you can take up a course you can learn you got a lot of time invest something maybe a thousand rupees or two thousand rupees you learn something on it you can get a job okay what are the merits it's a perfect numbers just you get the numbers it is exactly numbers speaks well right numbers will give you very good numbers uh, information so it is perfect they will be accurate more accurate see and it is objective is forecasting where else where we cannot see this objective in different in the, any other any other concept that will be deleted diluted okay but here is for objective is forecasting only forecasting nothing about product nothing about the area nothing about customer just only the product that is forecasting and then it's a simple use if you know the tools well simple very very simple these are the merits and what are the demerits market conditions are not taken into account in prediction because we are using softwares right softwares will not see if possible we'll put example right if a software is being used uh, that uh, that will tell this year to allegory one lakh people will come for tourism they predicted what happened there was a lockdown people will not come and visit allegory the condition is ignored okay the so second point is the extension of the, the uncertainties around the environment will not be taken into account in statistical method so these are the types of forecasting we saw today is there any doubts any doubts any doubts on the topics any doubts any doubts okay i uh, just a sh short recap of today's session so today we were talking about sales forecasting before that we saw about sales what is sales is sales is convincing a customer to buy a product and then sales forecasting is predicting the future of sales okay just you tell a future tomorrow this is the number i am going to sell this is this is the number the product will be selling so you are predicting the future is called sales forecasting so there are few examples we saw that the toyota is planning to be the number one automaker with the sales of 10.77 million vehicles and we saw about itc's cigarette sales are coming down due to covid and uh, tax in tax on product and we saw about the importance of sales forecasting that it brings systematic function you can set the target there is a delegation of work there is a coordination and cooperation and we can know about budget preparation is important and we also know product mix product mix we'll see separate topic that's a very important topic we'll see different topic and there are few types first type is jury of executive and opinion method that executive members of the company will take a decision and there are merits and demerits and we saw about sales force opinion method where sales people will give the opinion about the forecast and we saw about customer expectation where customers will tell you about what they need and the forecast is done based on the need of the customer and finally we saw about statistical method which rely on some tools and software to predict the forecasting okay thank you all if you have any doubts you can ask okay thank you